stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? I still don't care. I still think that, like, um, zoophile porn, like, drawn stuff, it should be 100% legal. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. It is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. That is possible. What if CP is free? If you're not paying for child pornography, then there is no argument in favor of morally condemning people who get it. Chaos, five bucks. So would you say the people who purchase child porn are just as bad as the people who sell it? No. <laughs> no. Not, not even slightly. I don't think that you should morally impugn anyone who purchases child porn for the same reason I wouldn't want to be morally impugned for buying clothing from companies that, like, use slave labor to do so. Um, however, those who produce and sell the child porn, that is an entirely different question. Matt? When I was a kid, I was having sex with other kids. Lots of it. Gross, gross sex. More than you'll ever imagine. And it was great. And it wasn't wrong or bad, and nobody regrets it.